Hello and welcome back. Happy Easter. Today we'll be looking at Media Query. So essentially what a Media Query does is it allows us to get um, information about the device that we are currently on. So we'll start by deleting our boilerplate and then we'll um, get coding. So we can remove the constructors, the increment method, and also everything inside build. So we'll start by returning the scaffold. That'll have an app bar, app bar, title will be a text, and we'll give it media query. And send the title true. Next we'll go on to our body and for that we will just have a center. The center will have a child of text and what we're going to do to start off is display um, the device resolution so we'll just say um, actually this device is dollar screen width by dollar screen height so to get the screen height and the screen width we will go up here inside our build method and we will create two different variables screen width is equal to media query of context dot size dot width and then it's the same for the screen height but instead the height So we're actually going to be running this in Chrome, but this will work on a regular emulator, just that you won't be able to see how the media query works. The reason we'll be doing it in Chrome is because then it will allow us to, um, to see the different um, screen sizes, it'll allow us to change it and then update the UI respectively. So um, our application has loaded and you'll see now it's just giving us the device um, width and height. So um, here it's only taking these. So now if we move into our developer tools and what well, you could get there with Control shift i we need to toggle device toolbar and this is where we can really start seeing it. So if we switch over to iPhone X will tell us 375 by 812 which is what it is here but we can switch over to pixel 2 and you'll see that now it's 411 by 731 so essentially media query allows us to um, access everything um, we can also do our own responsive one so if we were to put in 1080 by 1920 you'd see that this is what it looks like we can also rotate it so yes this is why we'll be using chrome so the next thing that we'll be doing is we'll be moving on and looking at actually um updating the ui based on certain conditions so we'll switch this center and we'll change the child to instead a column Children. And so um, we're going to add another child and this will be a square and this square changes colour and shape depending on the um, screen width and screen height. So if screen, actually let's add a size box, size box height 20. So if screen width is more than or equal to 1280 and 
screen height is more than or equal to 720 then we'll display a container else we'll display another different container um, so in this container we'll give it a height of 800 and a width of 700 and we'll give it a color of colors.red and we can copy this uh, but in this container instead we'll just make this a square and we'll change it to colors.blue so if we come back to edge here you'll see that because um, our device is big enough it's created a container that is 100 by 700 but if we were to turn this around because um, not all the conditions are met instead it will turn to a square so if you were on a phone it would look like this but if you, even if you rotated it but for example if you are on something like an iPad and you rotated it it still wouldn't go but if you go to an iPad Pro you see when we turn it over now it has enough space to display it so what would happen is if you're building your UI say you had a list of items that you wanted to select you could have on the mobile view you would have the list and once you click on it it takes you to a separate page but if you were to do it on um, an iPad you'd have the list over in this area and then you'd have your information on this area so those are one of the useful things about um, media query. We can also go ahead and display the uh, orientation so we'll just come back over here and we'll create another variable variable screen orientation is equal to media query dot of context dot orientation so um, the orientation it will return to us one of the values of the enum um, orientation. So we can go ahead and depending on the value of screen orientation is equals equal to orientation dot portrait. So if so we'll say a text I'll just say this this device is in portrait mode um, else we'll display text that just says this device is in landscape mode and so hot reload and we've come over here and it'll tell us in landscape if we change it's in portrait so that's very useful um, that's all we'll be covering today but if we come over here you'll see that media query of context it has many different things um, some of these can be useful like if the current device you're using um, has high contrast mode enabled then you can update your UI if it has invert colors um, you can also get to the platform brightness which will um, tell you what um, what um, display mode is in and you there are various sort of things um, as always you can check out the documentation but one thing I wanted to mention before we end is that nowadays we are seeing a lot more foldables and if we come over here and we look at the surface duo for example it's fine but once we um, change it to folded mode you'll see that half our um, Half our, con half our content is gone because the hinge is there so um, as part of Flutter 2 there was um, an announcement for the start of support for foldable devices so this article just explains some about that and in media query we will soon be getting the hinge hopefully and then we'll be able to start developing uh, for foldable devices so Yes, uh, thank you for watching. I'll leave links to the, that article in the description if you want to know more. 
and I'll see you around. <laughs>